stand on there. Okay, feet wider. Yeah, there you go. Go ahead and squat five times. One, two, slower. Three, four, five. Good job, buddy. Okay. Pick it up. Pick it up, sweetheart. Put your feet in your heels. Two, three, four, five. Put the ball up there. Good job. Ooh, beast. Oh my God, I'm getting so strong. It's a sheep. When you do it like this and do it like this. It's a nine or a six, you're right. Okay, ready? Let's do five. Do a nine, it's like this. Do the six, it's like this. Okay, look that way. Okay, look this way. <laughs> Open your feet up. That a boy, good. One. Two, oh, go all the way down. Two, bring your feet a little closer together. Not that close. Okay, go. Three, four, five, good job. Hey, I think you should hold the ball under your chin like this. You'll be strongest. Okay, go ahead and start squatting as soon as you're ready. One. Put it on your Hold it tight. Two. Squeeze it tight. Squeeze it tight. Three. Put your weight on your heels. Four. Five. five. Take it over there. Woo! Oh my goodness, Joseph. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. You did 50 squats. <laughs> No, it's not only this. This is the first time I remember doing this particular exercise with Joseph. Joseph is a month away from his fourth birthday, so he's three years old, almost four. And he's doing five front squats with a three pound slam ball. Now you could use anything. You could use a three pound weight, a two pound weight, you could use anything. Here he is doing it with a four pound slam ball. Ideally his feet would be a little wider apart and soon I start cueing him on his form as the balls get heavier. And ideally he'd be going a little bit slower. But he's very flexible as you can see. And it's only five reps and it's a relatively low weight. I like to use the slam ball because it's round and they can't hold it perfectly flat against their body. So there's a little bit of a challenge there. He has to really work and staying in his heels. And I like that challenge. It forces some, some core awareness also, as opposed to like using a bar that just rests on their shoulders, using a real world object. A couple times he doesn't go far enough down. So I ask him to get a little bit more depth and he, he obliges. 
As the ball gets heavier, he wants to come on his toes more, so I'm cueing him to stay in his feet. And once again, it's only five reps. There we skip from the eight pound ball to the 10 pound ball, and he says it's too heavy, and he says it's, it's hurting his skin. He said it's burning him. I think what it was is the ball was actually rubbing on his skin. And he puts the 10 pound ball away. We accidentally skipped the nine pound ball. And we're having a little bit of a conversation here, and I'm telling him I think he can do it. And I don't even really acknowledge the fact that he can't do it. I just keep kind of telling him, hey, go grab it, go grab it. So he grabs it, and he starts doing them again. And he even he he even does seven repetitions. So what's interesting is, is at first he said he couldn't do it, but because I just stayed on him gently, he got seven repetitions. Now here he is with the 12-pound ball, doing it easier than the 10-pound ball. Four, five, it's at this point we realize we skipped the nine pound ball so we go back to the nine pound ball because we want to do all the balls he tells me boy I'm getting strong and when I hear that I realize he's he's in a really really good space because he wants to get strong he wants to be strong like the Incredible Hulk and Popeye and Iron Man he's noticing here that the nine and the six are the same 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 number if you turn it upside down or right side up depending He gets his stance right. I tell him to bring his feet in a little bit more. I tell him he's not getting enough depth. And if at any time I thought this just looked way too heavy for him, I would let him off the hook. And if he did go really heavy and his form was that squirrely, I would tell him to stop. But they're pretty malleable as kids, and I think it's just important to get some reps in. It's only five. And here's a 14 pound ball, and this is basically a third of his body weight. Squeeze it tight. Three. Put your weight on your heels. Four. Five. Take it over there. And he gets in the reps. And this is just the first part of the workout. So after this, I have him move the balls to a really high elevated um, plyo box. And you'll see that video come out next. But that's a simple workout.